What would happen if I made a loaf of bread with this overly acidic starter? Let me show you. This is the trap of an acidic starter. It's starting to get loose and almost showing signs of overproofing before it's fully fermented. This dough, I don't even know what to do with it. Sometimes the overproofing is not your fault, it's your starter. The dough feels very fragile. It wants to spread the process and the timing and everything about this is not normal. Okay, this dough is making me a little mad. It's stickier than I'm used to, despite all of the ingredients being the same as normal. It is so frustrating to work with dough like this that does not want to work with you at all. This is on the brink of overproofing and it certainly shouldn't be at all. I can't even really stitch because it's just ripping. No matter what I do, it just reverts back. Everything about it is just ticking me off. She's a little flat, not bad. Tunneling, underproofing. The holes where it's kind of stretching, that happens when it's overproofing. How can you possibly have signs of both underproofing and overproofing in acidic starter? It's a little gummy, but if I had let this bulk ferment any longer, it would have been focaccia. You can Google how to fix an acidic starter. I've got info on my blog about that. We got this.